Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can install ExpressVPN onto your ASUS router. That's right, if you wanna have a VPN on your router directly so that you can protect all your devices at the same time, and add a VPN to devices that don't allow you to have a VPN on there, don't have the means to have a VPN on there, something like your Roku or your Apple TV, this will do the trick. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna need a few things to get going. We're going to need a computer or a mobile device so we can actually log into our router. We're also gonna need to make sure we have access to our router. So if you don't have the username and password or you don't remember it, you're gonna have to set your router back to its default setting so that you can use the default username and login, which should be admin admin so that you can use that to get into your router and then you can go ahead and change the username and password again once you've uh, reset everything so but if you know the username and password then just go ahead and use that to log in now we're also going to need uh, express vpn account so that we can use their vpn service and so let's go ahead and jump into the laptop here so we can get both of those things rolling and uh, and get this set up so the first thing we wanna do is actually go ahead and log into our router. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to router.asus.com so we can uh, log in. And we can see there that I am in the router right now. So that's exactly what we want. And now what we wanna do is just scroll down here on the left-hand side where it says VPN, and we're gonna go ahead and click where it says VPN. Now you can see here it defaults to where it says VPN server, but there's also VPN client and Instaguard. We wanna go ahead, um, and click on VPN client. And now what we wanna do is right here where it says add profile, we wanna go ahead and click add profile. And now from the add profile page right here where it says TT, uh, PPTP and L2TP and then open VPN, we wanna click where it says open VPN. And now you can see there's gonna be a description, uh, a description section, a username and password, and a uh, import open VPN file. This is what we want here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead over to ExpressVPN and we're gonna grab the, uh, the OVPN file so that we can go ahead and get this set up. So we're gonna go ahead and click right, right here and we're gonna open ExpressVPN. And once you're logged into your ExpressVPN account, we're gonna go ahead and click where it says setup. And when you first get on here, you're gonna see where it says activation code, and then you're gonna have all these other things on here, and then you can see even where it says router. That's not what we actually want. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit to where it says manual configuration. Now you'll see here it says manual configuration. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And now you'll see here, there's two tabs up top, one where it says OpenVPN and L2TP uh, slash IPsec. We want the OpenVPN tab there. And you'll also notice that it says username and password with your username and password. And this is gonna be a specific username and password that you're gonna use when you're setting this up on your router. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take note of these. You can always come back and copy and paste them in there, which is what I'm gonna do. But make sure you, you can uh, make sure you take note of these because this is what you're gonna want. Now, just below that, there is a section that we're gonna to go to right here. And this section is where you're gonna find all of the different cities and uh, countries available to you from the various regions of the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Europe, and I'm gonna download a couple, of, uh, a couple of sections. I'll download, let's see, I'm gonna download this one here called UK Docklands. And it's gonna then download the, uh, the OVPN file. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, save this uh, into a folder on my desktop. I'm just gonna call it Express VPN Config Files. There we go, and I'll click Create. And now I'm gonna go ahead and save it right there. And there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab one other country here. I'm gonna go down to where uh, Asia Pacific is right here. And I'm gonna grab uh, Australia. So I'll click on that right there. And I'm gonna save this to my uh, to the same folder right there. All right, so now we have those two uh, ready to go. What I wanna do now is I wanna come over here to where, back into my router, and I'm gonna add one here. I'm gonna call the description. I'm gonna call this, um, I'm gonna call this Express VPN Docklands. So there we go. And now I wanna put in the username and password that we saw over there 
on ExpressVPN. Now that we have that in there, what we wanna do is go ahead and choose the file. We wanna choose the, uh, the OVPN file. So I'm gonna to click on choose file and we can see that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the UK uh, Docklands one. And now that I have that in there, I'm gonna just go ahead and click where it says upload. And we can see there it says complete. So we are ready to go. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and click where it says okay. And it's loaded up. Now, if you wanna make sure that it's working, you can see right there where it says connection status and over here where it says activate. I'm gonna go ahead and click activate to uh, activate the, the VPN. So I'm gonna click that there. And we can see there it's starting to work. You can usually tell when it's working because it says over here, it'll say deactivate, but you can also see it says connection status and it shows the, the check mark right there. So, and you'll see here in the description, it says ExpressVPN Docklands. Now you wanna put something in there that's easily recognizable because if you have more than one VPN service, you wanna make sure you know which one you're using and you wanna make sure you know which location that you're using. So if you may have a VPN uh, server for, uh, for the UK, you may have one for Australia or whatever, and you wanna make sure you know which one's which. So the same thing, I'm gonna add another profile. So I'm gonna click here. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say this one's going to be Express VPN, and this one's gonna be uh, Australia. So I'll just put Aussie Land Mel, and there we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead, oops, actually I, mo I, I made the mistake of starting this at the TTP, TP. I wanted to make sure we're over here on, uh, on OpenVPN. So I'm gonna choose OpenVPN and now I'm gonna put it in the description right there. And now I can go ahead and put in the username and password. Now, once I have the username and password in there, I wanna come over here and choose the file. And so I'm gonna choose the, uh, the Australian file. And there we go, it is there. So now I just need to upload it. So I'm gonna click the upload button and it's complete. So we're good. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on okay. And there we go, it is loaded up and ready to roll. We can see where it says ExpressVPN Aussie Land. So I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate the, uh, the UK Docklands one. And there we go, get rid of that. And I'm gonna, choose the, uh, I'm gonna choose this one to activate and make sure it's working. And we can see it says deactivate in there, so that's a good sign. And we have our check mark right there letting us know that it's actually working there. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple and pretty easy to do. Um, and that is how you can add ExpressVPN to your router so that if you wanna make sure that all your devices are protected or make sure that devices that aren't easily, uh, you aren't easily able to add a VPN onto it still have VPN access, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, pretty quick, and uh, yeah, pretty painless. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is it. That is how you can add ExpressVPN to your Asus router. It's pretty easy, it's pretty painless, it's quick. I like doing it this way because it's just very quick and easy to add multiple locations in there. So if you say, let's say you have five or 10 different locations that you use regularly, maybe you have some in the UK, maybe you have some in the US, maybe you have some in Australia, or maybe you have some in, in, uh, in France or somewhere else in Asia or Africa, or wherever, you can add the servers right there into your uh, VPN section of your router and then you can turn them on and off as you need them. Now you can, uh, you can log into your router every time you wanna turn them off and on, or if you have a mobile phone, a smartphone, you can actually download the Asus router app and then you can just go into the app and just with a little toggle switch, you can turn those VPN uh, servers off and on just using the mobile app, which makes it really, really quick and convenient, so. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link both to my router that I use and to uh, ExpressVPN down in the video description so that you can check them out and get the service in the router if you're interested or you can use your own router and, and your own service if you don't have if you have a different one. But ExpressVPN is one that I really like and been using lately. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.